Hey everybody, another update here. I'm out on a trip going across BC on the bike. And no joke, before I went for a ride this afternoon, I honestly thought to myself, hey, you know, I should probably check some of my nuts and bolts to see how they're doing. Bikes shake a lot, and that's pretty standard that you're supposed to check every so many thousand kilometers. So I get back from my ride, and maybe, you know, I noticed the occasional pop and backfire or something, but I was just, felt like I should, you know, take a little look, smelt a bit of hot oil, just added some, and it's a bit dark in there, but I took a look down there, and there's totally an Allen key bolt sitting right there, and I'm like, oh, that can't be good. So I look up, and here I replaced these little rubber manifolds, it's like a metal manifold for the intake, but it's covered in rubber and where the carb hooks up, it's rubber so that things don't get cracked from all the shaking. And it's held on by two bolts per manifold, and there's a manifold per cylinder, two cylinders, two carbs, two manifolds. So the left hand cylinder, where the bolt attaches in here, yeah, there it is, at the bottom, fell right out, and you can totally see the light between the engine and the manifold, so the upper bolt must be loose too. That could bring dirt into the engine, and that could run lean, give you a lack of power. My goodness, I didn't even lose the bolt. It's sitting there, and I was out for a fast ride. Man, am I ever happy I found it before it got worse. Crazy shit can happen, eh? You gotta watch this stuff, and it's good to be able to know how to take care of these things, because even just a trip could throw different things your way. You can't always get somebody to work on things for you. Sometimes you gotta have the knowledge yourself. It's just a good thing to know. Thought I'd share that with you before I even took the bolt out of there or anything. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace.